The jaws of a three-jaw universal chuck move simultaneously and can be opened or closed by turning any of the three sockets with a chuck wrench. Round work can be clamped on its outside diameter by closing the jaws against the work. To grip the inside diameter of a workpiece, move the jaws outward. Any work that has a number of sides divisible by three, like this hex stock, can be held in a three-jaw chuck. Larger sized workpieces are gripped using reverse jaws. However, you'll need to remove the standard jaws first by turning the wrench counterclockwise until the jaw stops moving. Then remove the jaws from the chuck body. The jaws for a universal chuck are numbered one, two, and three. And it's absolutely essential each jaw is inserted in the corresponding numbered slots in the chuck body. To begin, turn the socket on slot number one clockwise until the beginning of the scroll is just visible. Next, slide jaw number one into slot number one and rotate the socket until the jaw engages the scroll. Then rotate the socket until the scroll reaches slot number two and mount jaw number two in the same manner. Repeat this process for jaw number three. Once that's finished, the jaws are ready to grip a large diameter workpiece. Some chucks are equipped with two-piece jaws that can be reversed without removing the entire jaw from the chuck body. Simply remove the mounting bolts along with the top piece of the jaw. Next, check to make sure that the mating surfaces of both parts of the jaw are clean. Then reinstall the top piece in the reverse position and secure with mounting bolts.